Don't forget to share it with your friends and recreate this look if you like and tell me about your experiences and um, I share many tricks and uh, many tips that I always follow for uh, doing my makeover so you can I, I think you can learn something from there um, and it will help you to improve your makeup skills so and let's start now I'm going to go for my best makeup at first I'm going to use this one it's from elf and it's matte putty primer this one this one is my new one I finished my um, two already so just see how small amount of primer I take for <coughs> my base makeover I don't actually use this all over my face all I do is this much is enough this much is enough the place where you have oily zone like I have my oily zone here then my nose and my this part uh, it's from it's high definition brush E110 from AOK I am using this brush because it's easy to go where you want This is the part where I am oily mostly. For the rest of my face, I'm using Wet n Wild Matte Matte. My Wet n Wild and I'm shade Bath Biscuit. I'm taking a very small part, you will see how small amount I will take my photo focus foundation is one of my most used foundation because you know it's buildable uh, it's light coverage and it's perfect The next thing is I'm going to use this contour palette. It's from Wet n Wild and uh, the name is Mega Glow Contour Palette and the shade is Caramel Toffee. I'm using my brush Sigma F57. Did you see the shape? It's perfect for contouring, bronzing, you know. You will just love it when you will use it once. So I'm, use, I'm taking this shade like this. Very small amount of blush and do this. It will lift your face, okay? It will lift your face. It will, um, I mean, sometimes it, it's told by many that after applying blush, I look dark than I usually is. And whatever left, put it here, okay? Now what I will do is define my um, lower parts. That's not always necessary, but I'm just doing like this. It's a very light line I'm drawing. So 
baking my whole face right now. The shiny parts. Like this. And remember, I had few powder on my nose. Now I am blending all together. Now don't forget to apply some mist. I'm applying Set and Refresh Meat Starberry Scent. Add between Jeffrey and Morphe. It's so good, you know. The smell is so refreshing. And if you have dry to combination skin, it's, it's heavenly for your skin. And I'm using Revelation Blush Palette. I'm taking my highlighter brush from RT. And I am taking this shade. Perfect. Ooh. Bit on my nose. Bit here. Bit on my forehead. And that's all. Taking these two shades, one is 27 and another is 40. 27 is 27 is black cherry and 40 is pinky. Um, applying a dark shade in uh, in morning time and again with uh, full coverage makeup is a bit odd for many people but this is just my personal choice okay nothing to offend anyone and this is something that I want you can go with a very nude kind of lipstick look uh, lipstick with this kind of look this is totally your choice but I'm just going with a bold lipstick now the next shade is 40 I will use my hand now to, you know, blend this lipstick. 